Hi there, everyone. Um, I'm back for a talking video. Um, I'm going through some stuff right now. And, uh, don't know if a lot of it is real, but, um, I just wanted to make a video and talk a little bit about my transition and where I'm at and what's going on with me. Um, I haven't made a video about my transition in quite some time now because I felt like I needed some privacy and just wanted to live my life and, um, not have it broadcast to anyone that might come across it. And, you know, in that time I came to some conclusions that um, I had a feeling that I was going to come to at some point in my life. Um, I, uh, I basically stopped taking testosterone back in, I think it was December or January, and um, have been struggling with um, overcoming my addiction to that substance. Because that's kind of what it is. I became kind of, you know, dependent upon it, and so once going off of it, it, you know, made me very depressed, and uh, my energy level was very low for quite some time, and um, it's hard to explain exactly why I felt like I needed to stop, but there was like a whole ethical and moral dilemma I was having about it. Um, whether or not I wanted to alter my body anymore, and whether or not I wanted to risk um, that dependency, you know? Like, what if I come to a point in my life where I can't afford it, or I can't obtain it in some way, and then what will I do then? So I, I wanted to, you know, see if I could go without it, and um, also was concerned that it, about health risks and stuff, and also realized some things about um, my gender as a whole and realizing that I don't really have one and um, the fact that um, I was so convinced for so long that I was a man or something was um, basically because I think of just the where I grew up and the kind of person I, I am growing up in such a sheltered community. Um, I was very different from a lot of kids. I was more masculine than most females, and so I never felt that I could ever fulfill the the role of a woman. And so I latched on to the, the role of man early on because I, I, I was like, well, I don't, just don't think that's gonna work for me, you know? Um, after seeing like things like my father's Playboys and hearing about, and having pressure from my parents, you know, to you know, get married and have babies when, in fact, I, I didn't have any of those desires at any point in my life, and, um, I don't know right now, I'm not sure how I feel about children. I don't think I could do it right now, obviously, <laughs> but maybe someday in the future. I don't know if I would be the one to carry them or not, but that's a whole other story, but, um, also I, I believe that my decision to transition was had a lot to do with the fact that I was a very insecure teenager and, you know, coming from this this community where there wasn't a huge gay population or not no visible transgender population, I was very ashamed of feeling the way I did about um, myself, you know, and feeling different, you know, and feeling like, you know, maybe I'm not a woman, maybe, you know, why, why am I so different? Why, why don't boys like me? Why why do people always make fun of me for being more masculine? Why do they call me gay when I, I don't necessarily feel gay? And, um, I, um, I guess I'm, I'm just to a point where I just want to be androgynous and just want to live my life to, you know, just be what I would be naturally and, you know, not risk my health and not risk other people's health in the process. I don't I don't feel like um, having this substance running through my body and then uh, releasing it back into the environment is that great of a thing. Of course, I'm not judging anyone else who does it. And for me, it, it helped me through some hard times um, earlier on, but I, I think that my choice to take it was a little bit misguided. 
um, because I was so mature, so young, and so, um, oh, I just didn't know anything, you know, didn't really talk to a lot of people, just was very ashamed of how I felt, so, um, basically cut off all communication with a lot of people in my life, and didn't really give them a chance to understand what I was going through, so, I guess I am... Um, I'm just to a place where I'm, I just want to pick up the pieces and try to move on and be who I actually am. And um, not that I'm, not that I was ever not myself. It's just I, I think that I want to give it a shot. I want to give my body a shot. Um, I want to try to transition naturally, and I want to. Um, I want to start talking to people again and, you know, explain myself. <laughs> maybe not, that's maybe not the, the best terminology for it, but, um, I guess, uh, I guess I'm just going through something right now, <laughs> something kind of strange, and, you know, if, if it's real, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just really disappointed with whoever it is that would be doing these things, because if it's real, <laughs> I just really want no part of it, honestly. I, I just want to live a normal life and do art and dance and play music and make friends and love people, but I don't think that it's absolutely necessary to do what I think is planned, and I think there is still hope. And, um, Anyways, that's a little bit off topic, but, you know, I just have such an overwhelming love for life, but I've always been in such fear that I've let that stand in my way of actually living, and what I really w just want to do is have a life, I guess, and um, I just want to be open, and I just want to be myself, and I just want to be person. I don't want to be a gender. I don't, I don't want to play into society's roles at all anymore. I, I mean, I think that my decision to transition was because I felt like there wasn't a, a space for people um, in the middle ground. And, um, not that choosing to transition is a bad thing for anybody, but maybe it, it wasn't such a great choice for me. And I realize that now, seeing, you know, analyzing where I came from. And, who my parents were, and, um, you know, the, the activities I did did not um, involve a lot of people that were of a queer persuasion, so I didn't have a lot of visuals or a lot of communication with people in the community, and, um, yeah, I'm just hoping that I can start opening up more and being willing to share my story of it, and, um, I obviously don't want to blame society 100%, but I think that um, due to a lot of the expectations put upon, like, bodily and personality-wise for female-bodied people, I think that it, it kind of really took away my confidence and um, didn't allow me the chance to be the person I... I supposed to be because I was just so wrapped up in this expectation that I was, these expectations I was putting upon myself of being this slender female that I just was not never going to be this very feminine person. I just never was, so um, I guess I'm not communicating this very well, but it is 2 a.m. in the morning and, you know, I haven't made a video in some time and... <laughs> I guess I need to stop making excuses, but there you go. Um, obviously, I, I still feel like the same person, but sans testosterone. And um, anyways, I think I'm gonna get going. And um, I I really hope people listen to me when I say that whatever this thing that's going on is. I just really hope you don't go through with it. And. Um, I'm not here to threaten anybody, I'm just here to live my life and um, love people and
do my best at being a good person. And I'm just trying to start over, you know. <laughs> trying to get clean, for one thing. You know, get off of uh, substances. So, anyways, I hope everyone's doing great. And uh, hopefully I'll make another video soon. And um, perhaps some more dancing. So, talk to you later.